Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'll be showing you how I make red lentil soup. This is such a hearty, warm recipe. It's perfect for those cold winter nights when the day is really short and you don't want to go out. <laughs> So we're going to start off with the ingredients. We have garlic, peas, half an onion, I'll be using oxo stock cube vegetable, red lentils and parsley. With the red lentils I leave them soaked in water for about an hour and then I clean the red lentils until the water is completely clear. So in a pan, drizzle a bit of oil and add your garlic and onions. Stir them around in the pan, making sure it's covered with the oil. You don't need to be adding any salt, as you will have salt in the stock cube already. Once you can see the onions have browned a little bit, you can go in and add your red lentils. Now with the red lentils, you don't have to get rid of all the water, but try and get rid of it as much as you possibly can. Uh, you will be adding water with the stock cube anyway. Give the red lentils a mix with the oil, garlic and onions. Red lentil soup is my favourite. What's yours? Comment down below. Now using two stock cubes, Mix that in with 300 millilitres of water, stir in until the stock cube has completely dissolved and then add it into your soup. Add one quarter of a spoon of turmeric. This is going to give that vibrant yellow golden colour to your soup. Once you've stirred in the turmeric, Close the lid on the pan and let it boil. You can see that the red lentil is going to be getting bigger in size and the water is going to evaporate as well. Now depending on how you like your soup, if you like thick soup you can just basically leave it there or if you like your soup to be smooth, uh, runny but not too liquidy, then is liquidy even a word? Um, then I would add a bit more water and what you can do is go in with the hand blender and break down the red lentils even more. The hand blender is going to help the red lentils break and it's going to give it that smooth texture as well. If you do go in with the hand blender sometimes what can happen is all the red lentils just goes to the bottom and the water goes to the top so what you can do is add a bit more water and give it a good stir and let it boil all together again. Remember soup does thicken up once it's cooled down so remember that when adding water you don't want it to be so thick the following day. So I'm just going to go ahead and add peas. Now at this point you can add mushrooms, you can add sweet corn or tomatoes. I'm just going to add peas because that's all I had in the house. So to finish off, I'm going to be adding parsley. Now you can add oregano, it just depends on what kind of herbs you actually like. I find oregano too strong. Parsley's got that nice, subtle, fresh fragrance to it. So I've decided to add parsley to the soup. Give it all a stir and let it boil that one last time. So that is how I make red lentil soup. Now have you guys had any different types of soup before that you guys swear by? Let me know in the comment section because I would love to try it out. My favourite thing to have with soup is seeded bread. It's just so nice, it's so warm, toasted with butter on top, oh, it's just the best. 
While you guys are here, go check out my other videos. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And inshallah, I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.